Now this week's Craig's Challenge is truly a Craig's Challenge. Today it's Craig Miller versus Craig Yancey in a game of wiffle ball. Now much publicity precluded this historic event as the Wiffle Ball Times. I want to get you a look at this. Hit the newsstands about four weeks ago. This publication is complete with predictions and quotes from the competitors, including this dandy from Miller. I know Yancey used to pitch for ASU, and I respect that, but I used to catch for Nettleton, and that about makes us even. Boy, after hearing me refer to myself as the Craigster during a recent challenge, Miller said he contemplated legal action, but then decided it would be best to settle this the man's way on the wiffle ball field. This has gotten to be more than a challenge. This is not a challenge. This is a grudge match. Loser right. leave town. Well, not loser leave town, but winner takes the name and loser takes the shame. Is that what you said? That's right. Like the sweatshirt says, I am the original Craigster, often imitated, never duplicated. Yancey is often constipated, never imitated. This town's only big enough for one Craigster. And today, here at Kevin Arm Stadium, we're going to find out who it is once and for all. Do not adjust your sets, ladies and gentlemen. Since this is such an historical event, we decided to take you back to the days when the game was played by real men for fun, not just money. Got to explain the rules. Each player gets one out. Three strikes constitutes an out. He must hit the ball over a designated area of the field in the air in order to have a base hit over the fence and on the house is considered a home run. Miller's two-run homer in the second got things started as he led 2-0 to a little Jackie Fargo there and then a one-run blast and the third gave him the three-run lead as I chase it to the fence. Yancey held scoreless through five full innings. They were all there to watch me go down. And intently, I might add. But a big inning in the sixth, a pair of solo blasts. One off the roof, the other to right center, and the spectators were visibly shaken as Miller's lead is cut to 3-2. Had to pitch out of a jam in that inning, and it paid off. Another pair of solo blasts coming up in the seventh. Gives Yancey his... First lead of the ball game, 4-3, the 98 footer coming up. See ya. A, B, see ya later. Forget it, Craigster. Now the other Craigster looking for a little help on the bottom of the ninth, or excuse me, bottom of the eighth. Miller answers with a two-run dinger to regain the lead at 5-4, but don't count out the Craigster number one. Gone. 5-5. Five, five. Miller unable to score in the ninth, and being the gentleman that I am, I begged, pleaded for the tie. So as you can see, folks, it ended 5-5 in a tie. You got to like that kid. He's got a great name, Craig I, Miller. I suggest you get that, uh, that little agreement you had in writing, you know, that he might take legal action for there, you know. We're going to swap the sweatshirt, by the way, so okay. I get to wear that every once in a while. Okay, Craig, thanks a lot. Yeah, well.